Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. When you think of large ships and military, you probably imagine rough, deep waters out at sea. But some military ships are most powerful in shallow waters. Doxta Varvet, a part of Saab, originally commissioned the CB-90 class fast assault craft in 1991. Designed as a fast assault and coastal defense boat, Saab created it intending to replace the TPBS-200 class in the Swedish Navy. In recent years, Saab has introduced the world to its new model. The CB-90 Next Generation has new jets running on higher efficiency than before and a brand new combat system. It is created to be fast and easily carries multiple troops and cargo in shallow waters or open waters. Thanks to a new drive line, this new model is designed to be even faster than its previous model and quieter when it moves. Not to be outdone, the United States River Rhine Command Boat, or RCB, finds its niche in the shallow waters as well. Fitting a crew of about four to eight, the RCB can transport up to 15 people. These River Rhine command boats typically serve as part of the Coastal River Rhine Force Unit, being used as a bridge between the shallow water ravine boats and the deep water ships. The River Rhine command boats sit at a length of 53 feet and typically travel at 35 plus knots when cruising. Split into two groups and seven squadrons, the primary mission of the Coastal River Rhine Force is maritime security operations. The force is dedicated to defending the Navy's high-value assets, maritime infrastructure, ports, and harbors. These units are capable of 24-hour operations in all types of weather. No matter what rate you are, what rank you are, um, you gotta have each other's backs. If somebody goes down, you gotta be able to pick up whatever they had. Similar to the River Rhine command boats, the Special Operations Craft River Rhine, or SOCR, is designed for shallow water missions. The boat operates in both salt water and fresh water and is intended to be operational in what the military refers to as Sea State 2 and can survive in Sea State 4. The Special Operations Craft River Rhine is a diesel-powered, hard chine vessel used to complete its missions. The Swift Ship's Anaconda SOCR is foam-filled and created to remain afloat even if hold. With a maximum speed of just over 50 knots, the SOCRs can endure over 200 nautical miles. The ship holds a crew typically consisting of four members, not including the up to 15 troops and mission equipment it also carries. However, a bridge erection boat holds much less when it comes to people. The BEB has a crew of two soldiers, the operator and a crewman.
but despite the small crew, it was created to provide a temporary bridge. Through its ability to provide propulsion, maneuvering thrust, and anchoring to an improved ribbon bridge, the bridge erection boat aids the multi-role bridge company worldwide. The newest model of the BEB replaces the legacy BEB, which has been in service since 1984. These new boats will provide more power and maneuverability to the U.S. Army Reserve Engineers, aiding in the development of improved ribbon bridges. An improved ribbon bridge, or IRB, is a floating bridge system that General Dynamics European Land Systems developed. These bridges are used to transport weapons systems, troops, and supplies over the water. The bridge allows for a faster crossing of the water in special operations. The IRB provides the critical option of rapidly closing terrain with water obstacles and moving supplies and machines as needed. These types of bridging techniques are essential when it comes to heavy vehicles and machines, such as tanks. The bridge company is required in order to transport tanks like the M1A1 Abrams across an improved ribbon bridge. while smaller vehicles, such as Humvees, may be able to pass on either side of the bridge, creating more of a two-way traffic system. Large tanks travel down the middle of the bridge path. U.S. Marines with Bridge Company, 8th Engineer Support Battalion, move tanks for operational missions, as well as training exercises. They use this as a way to not only build upon their skills, but to build camaraderie amongst their unit and the Marines they work with. Marines in the 3D Assault Amphibian Battalion, 1st Marine Division, also conduct training on the water. However, their training looks much different than the bridge company. The 3D Assault Amphibian Battalion conducts waterborne training with its amphibious combat vehicle, traveling from the shore to an amphibious transport dock ship. The Amphibious Combat Vehicle, or ACV, is an adaptable amphibious platform created to deploy Marines from a ship to the shore. Developed by BAE Systems, engineers built the ACV with the idea of combining the company's amphibious legacy with the Iveco Defense Vehicle's history of producing armored vehicles. In November of 2020, the Marine Corps approved the initial operation capability of the ACV. 
This would go on to prove much more effective than the assault amphibious vehicle. Designed for adaptation, the amphibious combat vehicle combines both sea and land mobility as BAE Systems looks into the future. The company is now in full rate production on the ACV program after being awarded a $184 million contract by the U.S. Marine Corps in 2020. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.